Hey everyone, this video is sponsored by Audible. I just realized... I think I just made the biggest ukulele in the world. So last time I put guitar strings on my piano because you guys almost forced me to do it. But now when I have them on, I thank you because I'm really happy with the new instrument and I've spent so many hours working on it. I would really hate if I would ever have to cut the strings off. Now do fishing line on piano string. I like the idea, but I don't like what I have to do to make it happen. But I just realized that I don't think I have to. I don't need to cut the guitar strings off my piano if I get the new one. So I went to the Craigslist of Sweden, block it. And it didn't take long until I found the perfect one. All I had to do now was to drive 80 kilometers to get it in almost the capital of Sweden, Lekwa. Three hours later. So yeah, let's uh, take a look. It was extremely heavy. I was going to take a look inside and it, it honestly looks pretty good. Like the inside, damn, <laughs> yeah. That's nice, and... Can someone tell me in the comments, did I just make the best purchase ever? Time to listen to it, so this is what piano strings on a piano sounds like. Maybe I overreacted, but now it was time to look for some fishing line. This is the one I found. The problem is it looks so thin, but yeah, you gotta try. So I started with the first strings. Let's start a timer to see how long it takes to put on one string, and then I can use it to calculate how long it would take to put on all of the strings. So already five minutes in, and I'm starting to realize that this is going to be impossible because I can't even get on one line. Because it's so thin, it's just jumping out of my hands and I can't control it. The timer stops on 32 minutes and one string in the beginning actually gives you two. It means that this whole project with the 208 strings left will take 56 hours just to get the strings on and then I have to tune them. But I don't want to waste your video idea by not completing this. So I ordered eight different thicknesses of fishing line for $97. So this was actually the strongest one I could buy in Sweden and it can handle 180 kilos which is like 400 pounds and I think this, this could work. It didn't work, it didn't even fit through the tuning tape. But I had some other smaller PP ones so let's start working. You might think Matthias are you really the best person for the job? I did surgery on a piano, because the line is so slippery, it's just slipping out of the tuning pegs, so I had to tie some knots to just keep it in place. At some points I couldn't even reach, so this took so much time.
Ukulele, bro. Can you play something? Uh, uh, Tears. Can you play something? <laughs> I was kind of nervous here because I have already spent 80 hours working on this video. So it just has to work. So the bass strings has potential, these strings over here are barely audible, which brings us to the sponsor of this video, Audible. While doing this project, I spent 32 hours so far putting on the fishing line on this piano, but time has gone by surprisingly fast, because I've been listening to the audiobook Queen's Gambit, and you don't need to be a chess nerd to enjoy it, it's just a really good audiobook. But you probably won't put on fishing line on a piano, so why would you listen to an audiobook? Today is a great day to just go for a walk. And the time will pass so quickly with an audiobook, so you can burn hundreds of calories without even noticing it. When you come back, you can watch YouTube again, you can keep procrastinating and still feel really good about yourself. And then you might say, but Matthias, I'm kind of broke. Don't worry about it. Audible has the best offer of the year right now on their new Audible Plus membership, which gives you unlimited access to thousands of titles, Audible Originals, podcast and all you have to do is use my code Matthias Kranz, link in the description. So do us both a favor and go into audible.com slash Matthias Kranz or text Matthias Kranz to 500 500 and then get the first six months for only 4.95 USD dollars per month. Now I will pray that a lot of you will use the code and maybe Audible will sponsor again and I can finally afford putting bass strings on a piano. So now we're finally closing in, and I'm going to use a guitar tune on my phone to tune it because it worked pretty decent last time. So I have two problems. The first one is I think this one just broke. Um, the other one is that I spent two days now trying to tune all of the strings on the piano. I've done it five times, but the strings are stretching because it's nylon and they are losing their pitch. But for every time I tune it, it's getting better. So I'm going to give it two more times and then I'm going to be super fast with all the recording equipment and capture it, hopefully, kind of in pitch. At this point, I realized that I wasted so much time on nothing. Or did I? I can't believe it almost sounds like piano strings. So now when you heard what it sounds like, it's time for piano review. I'm going to give the sound compared to expectations a 10 out of 10. Because when I started to do this video, I kind of expected to do more of a work of art than an instrument. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Next one is ability to stay in tune. So it's been one day since you have heard it. So let's see what it sounds like now. I 
give that a 2 out of 10. Next one is convenience. But overall, great experience. I would give the fishing line piano a 10 out of 10. Then I went in to answer some comments. <laughs> so funny. That's when I saw that only 2% of you who's watching this are subscribed to my channel, which makes it one of the lowest subscribe rates I have ever seen on YouTube. So if you really don't like me, let's make a deal. I will answer all the comments on this video for two days. And if you give a fun video idea, I will also give you a heart. If you subscribe with notifications. And also thank you everyone for 400,000 subscribers. Now you can go watch fishing line on a guitar.